Hey guys, I know you've been waiting for this for so long and yep, it's another Serious Heroes guide. Hooray! Okay, but let's get serious. We are continuing with our guide series and this one will be helpful for users who haven't yet started their exciting or maybe not Serious Heroes journey. Today I'm going to explain to you how to connect your MetaMask wallet and get into the game. So snacks ready, we're good to go right now. But before we get to this guide itself, let me remind you real quick how crucial for us is to get your likes and subscriptions to the channel. They help YouTube users to find out our channel in the net, so please do that for me. Okay, so let's get it on. Okay guys, let me start with something fundamental to the topic. So you need an NFT to play Sidus Heroes. Yeah, it's not free to play so far, but there are many different Sidus Heroes NFTs you can grab. Lucky for you guys, I recently made a guide where I explain the NFT collections of Sidus Heroes in detail, so I suggest you watch it. But more importantly, you need to have a MetaMask wallet, so let's jump straight into the topic. As you might already know, Sidus Heroes is in its public beta version stage right now and you can join the exciting battles right away. This guide will help you get started on your exciting, unique journey. Okay, so step number one is to get your own MetaMask wallet. I think it is the most popular crypto wallet among others and it is completely essential if you want to use any decentralized crypto services and applications. And of course, Cedus Heroes supports the MetaMask browser extension, which again, it is the most popular crypto wallet. This solution is available in both the App Store and the Google Store. So install it, I know obviously you can't do that, then follow the on-screen instructions on how to create and top up your wallet. So let's recap the previous steps if you forgot those. First, you need to download the application. Then create a new wallet if you don't have one yet. And after that, create a strong password for your wallet. There is going to be a thing called seed phrase. So make sure you store this seed phrase somewhere safe because it is extremely crucial in the crypto world. There are a few ways to top up your balance like MoonPay, Wire, a direct ETH deposit, or you can send funds directly from your account on any crypto exchange that you have like Binance, FTX. It's up to you basically. Once done, you are ready for the next step. Of course, if you already have a MetaMask wallet installed, you can skip this guide and go straight to the OpenSea marketplace and buy yourself an appropriate NFT. I will not be describing this process thoroughly again in this guide because you can find the instructions by watching our previous guide right here. In the meantime, let's continue with this guide. The next step depends on what NFT you have. If you bought an NFT from so-called the old collection, you'll need to lock it via a special page. The term of your lock is 360 days and you won't be able to get your NFT before the end of this lock period. So please keep that in mind. Go to the Genesis Collection lock page, then connect your MetaMask wallet. Sign the transaction and by the way, it is free. You will see your heroes on the screen right now. Choose the heroes you want to lock and press lock hero. Then approve the transaction. This one is not free by the way and usually pretty expensive, so keep that in mind too. Once the transaction is approved, you can enter the game and create an in-game character. If you bought a Genesis or an Academy card, the process will be slightly different. So find the Cedus getaway page. Connect your MetaMask wallet to the website and make sure you connect the same wallet you used when purchased your card. Choose which NFT you want to redeem and transform it into your in-game character. Then approve the contract and this transaction takes a gas fee in ETH. After that, send your NFT to the smart contract where it will be burned. This transaction also takes a gas fee in ETH. And now you'll be able to release your in-game character inside the game. Yeah, we're getting closer to the final step in here, entering the game. And it's time to play the game. And yeah, that's it. We've reached the end point. Only a few simple steps to go. Open the game page, accept cookies, and then connect your MetaMask wallet. Sign the free transaction and get ready to kick some ass. You'll be redirected to the Cedus Heroes lobby. Press collection, choose any card if you have several, 
and then press release. The only thing you'll have to do is create your first hero and you'll be ready to break some faces. And by the way guys, let me know in the comments, do you need a guide on how to create a hero? So just leave your opinions down below, I'll be glad to read them and answer all your questions. Well, you see that everything is pretty straightforward, right? You'll need to accept the cookies and connect your MetaMask wallet every time you want to play Sidious Heroes. But there will be no manipulations with the NFTs that you have, I'm pretty sure of that. All in all, that's it, man. I hope you find this guide useful and that it deserves your like and subscription to the channel. As always, Diffie Channel was here, pleasure being with you again. See you in the next episodes.